Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome back to Rob Motive. So what is the Toyota Tacoma really meant for? You know, I've had seven, eight, nine, I don't know. I've had a lot of Toyota Tacomas. So I've had a lot of seat time in them, and I've used them for different things. And I've kind of come to the determination that there's really just a few things that the Toyota Tacoma excels at, that it's really meant for. First off, I have to say top of my list is modding. You know, if you're into doing your own thing on trucks, modding is one of the biggest things that you can do with a Toyota Tacoma. You know, if you enjoy turning a wrench, maybe you're not a mechanic, maybe you're a weekend warrior, maybe you just like to do your own stuff, the Toyota Tacoma is perfect for that. There are tons and tons of mods out there and things that you can do with the Toyota Tacoma. And it's fun. You know, it's even kind of like a hobby, I guess. You know, some guys go golfing. Some guys, I don't know, coach softball teams or soccer teams or whatever it is. The Toyota Tacoma gives you an outlet to be able to do something that you enjoy, get your mind off of the daily grind. If you have one of those horrible jobs that you just hate going to, you don't think about it when you're modding your Toyota Tacoma. At least I hope not. I hope you're concentrating on what you're doing. Second, as a daily driver, you know, it may not get the best gas mileage in the world, and it may not be the quickest thing out there, although with the pedal commander, you can make it as quick as it can be. Get rid of that throttle lag. And by the way, there is a discount code down below if you want to check them out. I highly recommend it. But it's fun to drive around. You know, it's just the right size. I've had full-size trucks. I have a full-size truck right now in the Toyota Tundra, which is fun in its own right because it is giant and it is powerful. But sometimes you just want to fit in places, not have to worry about where you are on the road, parking exactly right in those parking places so that person with a 1963 beat-up truck doesn't pull up to you and open their door into the side of your truck. You know what I'm talking about, right? No matter where you park, it never fails. Somebody with a beater pulls up next to you. I don't care if you park in the back of the parking lot all by yourself. I've had it happen. It's insane. But the Toyota Tacoma fits everywhere. You know, if you're driving in the city or maybe a tighter area, maybe parking that's not so big, you can pull the Tacoma in and not have to worry so much. You know, I've even seen people, I've actually witnessed this, pull into, say, a Walmart parking lot. And for some reason, they choose to pull into a tight area. I don't know why. It's like 10 feet closer than if they'd have just gone to a different one. But I've seen people actually get out with their truck running and move it. Move it two or three times to get it centered front to back, side to side, just right in that parking place. And you know they're doing it because they're trying to avoid getting hit. Good luck. If you think that's going to help you out, I got news for you. But anyway, it fits everywhere. It's fun to drive. Does it haul tons of people? No. Can it fit a couple or maybe three adults, four adults if you're not going far? Yes, it can. There's not a ton of room in that back seat, but there's enough room that you can fit people for short trips and things like that. I wouldn't want to go cross country riding in the back seat of a Toyota Tacoma, but maybe out to dinner or something like that. The Weekend Warrior. That is where I think the Toyota Tacoma really excels. Now, there's a couple of different facets uh, when you talk about weekend warrior. First is the person who maybe works at brick and mortar all week, lives in a subdivision, comes home and wants to be able to do some stuff. You know, plant some flowers, maybe a tree, some bushes, maybe haul some mulch. You know, back where I came from before I moved down here, Mulch was a big thing. You had to have mulch. Everybody had mulch. And you had to have a way to get it, right? Now you could pay 50, 100, 125 bucks to have somebody deliver it. Or you, if you have a Toyota Tacoma, you can go to the Lowe's or the lawn care center or whatever and pick it up yourself, whether it's bagged or whether it's bulk. And by the way, I highly recommend bagged. Moving around bulk mulch is not a lot of fun. But you can stuff it in the back and unless you live in a mansion on a million acres you probably are going to be able to use the tacoma to do it without making multiple trips keep in mind there is a weight limit right although who of us hasn't overloaded it i know i have 
never have hurt the truck and that's kind of a testament to its quality, right? It can take a little bit more than really what you're supposed to do. The other part of that weekend warrior is the off-roader. You know, I think besides the Jeep Wrangler, the two-door specifically, maybe even the Gladiator, I don't know. The Toyota Tacoma is number one when it comes to, or number two, maybe number three, when it comes to off-roading. Four by fours, you see them all the time. There's lots of videos and pictures and stuff, guys out running around, beating the heck out of their Tacomas in the tundra, not the truck, the wilderness. And the Tacoma makes a great vehicle for that. I mean, it's capable, it can fit most places, not as many places as a two-door Jeep Wrangler, but next to that, it fits almost everywhere you wanna go with a slight modification, like a lift. You can get it up in the air a little bit higher, and there's all kinds of lifts going back to the huge number of mods that there are for the Tacoma, but there's all kinds of lifts you can put on. Suspension lifts, body lifts, uh, block and spacer lifts, just shocks. I mean, all kinds of things you can do. So depending on what your off-road adventure is like, you can have it set up the way that you need it to be set up. What about people who work on farms? I think it's a great place for that too, as long as you don't need the full-size truck capability. You know, for driving around, small equipment, maybe even hauling small stuff, towing small stuff, the Tacoma will do that. Flip it into four-wheel drive, you can get through the fields or wherever you need to go. I think it's perfect for that too. There's just so many different uses for the truck. It's not really surprising that it is the number one mid-sized truck out there. And the reason for that, I think, beyond all of its capability and everything else, is its reliability. You know, no matter what you're doing with the truck, if you turn the key or push the button and it won't start, it doesn't really make a difference, right? And there's nothing more disappointing than when that happens. You know, the other day, it was actually my mother with a Jeep Gladiator. She was just gonna go, I don't know, to the grocery store or the Starbucks or somewhere. And she went out, got in her Jeep Gladiator, push the button and nothing happened. Now that's because of their hokey auto stop auxiliary battery system. Ended up replacing both batteries, problem went away, auto stop unfortunately is working again and she's had no issues. But how disappointing is that? Even when you wanna do something simple like go to the grocery store or maybe the McDonald's, you know how frustrating that can be, right? What if you're out somewhere, on a trail somewhere? You know, you've got your Jeep Gladiator and you've turned it off and it won't start. Now what are you gonna do? It could leave you stranded. That doesn't happen with the Toyota Tacoma. It's rock solid and again, I think that's why it's maintained its number one position for so long. Lastly, it just looks good. I mean, it still is the best looking mid-sized truck on the road. Even the new one that's coming, I think looks pretty darn good. There are some changes, but Toyota kind of maintained that standard, that look that they have with this truck. And I think that's going to aid them in maybe retaining a lot of the customers that they currently have. They are gonna feel it a little bit with the four cylinder turbo, I think. A lot of people seem to not like it, but I find it's usually the vocal few and the majority aren't gonna have a problem with it at all. We shall see, I'll find out for myself down the road. Leave a comment, let me know if I left anything out what do you think the Toyota Tacoma is really for? What do you use it for? I'd be curious to know. Thanks for watching. Stay safe out there. Bye.